Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to create a list of checkboxes in Jetpack Compose. We can use checkboxes in to-do list or maybe forms where you can choose multiple options. Unlike the radio button where you are supposed to select only one item. From June, we will start with Jetpack Compose project. Okay, now let's start. First, create a project with Compose activity. And done. Now let's do the prerequisites. This is optional. You can skip if you want to. Go to color. Add green color. And done. Then go to the theme. Set the primary color as green. And done. To make the app look more appealing, I will add a background image. And done. Now comes the important part. Go to main activity. Remove the default code. Make sure to create a surface inside the set content. And then I will create a composable function, learn checkboxes. And then, then add the learn checkboxes function in it. And then, also remove enable edge to edge if you are using the latest version of Android Studio. Now listen to me. Creating a checkbox is easy. You have to use the checkbox composable function and that's it. But here we will create a list of checkboxes which will be quite different. Also, let me quickly create a preview function so that you can see the design by writing the code. And done. Now inside the composable function, I will create a variable to-do list, which will be a list of all the to-dos as shown. And then, see, we have six to-dos in it, like buy groceries, go shopping, etc. So the list is ready. Next, we will be using toast. Hence for that, we will create a context variable. And then, now first we will create a column layout. I will give parameters like modifier, fill, max width, which means covering the entire screen. Then I will use paint for our background image. Content scale as fill width. And done. Now inside the column layout, we will create another column layout. And inside this, we will add our list. But why there is a need for another layout? Because the first layout covers the entire screen. I want a layout that is specifically for the list so that we can adjust it according to our requirements. Hence, create a column layout. We will give parameters like padding, Keep start 40 dp and top 180 dp. You can customize it according to your measurements. Now listen to me carefully. Inside it, I will go through each item on the list. And how we do that? By using for each. So write to do list dot for each. And inside it, create a variable to do item, which will be a single item of the list. That will be associated with another variable, checked item, by, remember, mutable state of 
false. What does this mean? Checked item determines whether the checkbox is ticked or not. So initially, I have kept a mutable state of false. Means when you open the app, the checkboxes will be blank. There will be no ticks on them. But if you are using any kind of database, then things will be different because the database will store the status of the checkboxes as you saved. Now, we will create a row layout which will consist of a checkbox and a text. So create a checkbox composable function with checked and unchecked change parameters. Now what are those? Check determines whether the checkbox is ticked or not. Basically the current state of the checkbox. So remember we created a variable for it, checked item. We will simply associate here. Then on check change is called whenever the checkbox state changes, allowing you to update the state accordingly. Hence create a variable check status. And here the checked item variable that we used before will be assigned to the check status variable for updating purpose. So basically when the checkbox state changes means the checkbox was blank before and now you tick the checkbox then the on checked change updates checked item with a new state that is ticked. The same way if I untick the checkbox the on checked change will update the check item with the new state that is untick. Got it? Now whatever it is tick or untick it will display through a toast. To do item means whatever the item name is, checked item means whatever the status of the checkbox is, like if it is true means the checkbox is ticked and if it is false then checkbox is not ticked. Lastly, a text set will display to do item with font size 22 SP. And then as you can see in the preview, our list of checkboxes is ready. Now let's run the app and see. It looks good. Checked and unchecked are also working perfectly fine. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.